solidarity with the people of Palestine and the people of Gaza. We are now on day eight of our hunger strike, and we continue to put our bodies on the line for the sake of the liberation of the Palestinian people, who have been under forced famine since Israeli policies on October 9th announced a blockade that have created conditions of forced famine, massive insecure food insecurity, and starvation for the people of the Gaza Strip. Since we began our hunger strike, we have had simple demands. We want a meeting and good faith negotiations with the university to talk about disclosure and divestment from companies involved in the Israeli occupation. And we want amnesty from legal and disciplinary charges for students that have been arrested for peaceful protests. Since that time, the university has failed to actually engage with our demands. And they have made clear that they still fail to acknowledge that a genocide is even occurring. We know that the university is not committed to keeping its students safe if it has failed to allow the hunger strikers to end their strike by meeting our very simple requests. But what we have experienced as well as hunger strikers is amazing shows of solidarity from community members and today we're very pleased to announce that an incredible group of Princeton faculty will be joining us in Solidarity Fast. We immensely appreciate the solidarity that faculty are showing us and the way they are stepping up to show the moral leadership that the university administration is completely failing to. I would now like to introduce them to read a statement about their Solidarity Fast.